Shalom and welcome back to my channel. That's channel en français. Today we are talking about the hottest spring trends for 2023. Let's jump right in. Now it is time for the lookbook portion of this video. If you guys know me, you know this is my favorite part. And if you don't like lookbooks, that's boring. You can totally skip this part, but I love lookbooks. And today's video is brought to you by none other than Urban Revivo. We talk about a lot of classic fashion. We talk a lot about trendy fashion, hot items of the season, which is in line with today's topic. But I love that Urban Revivo caters to a wide variety of women across the board and men. Classic fashion, fashion that is super trendy, fashion that looks very high end, very designer, but they're all really affordable pieces for what you're getting. I wanna start really strong with the outfit that I'm wearing because this is my favorite out of the bunch. I cannot tell you how good and stylish and cute and feminine I feel in this outfit. The quality, the details, the cut, the shape, top notch. This is just such a fun look. It's giving trendy, it's giving Alessandra rich, it's giving a little Chanel. I cannot tell you how much I love this outfit. That's why I'm wearing it for the rest of this entire video. Next, I wanna show you this super cool oversized blazer, which is just giving such 80s, 90s vibes. I also love a big oversized kind of longish blazer. It's the blazers that are the mid-length that I don't love for my body. I love that this goes kind of past my bum and elongates the torso. It's also just so cool and stylish. Something you can wear also open and closed. You can belt this, which is so, so cool in person. This is just like such a beautiful, soft baby yellow. Super casual, like model off duty kind of vibes. You know what I mean? And let's stay on jackets for a little while longer because this is also such a stunner out of the bunch. The shade is gorgeous. It's pink. It's lavender, big silver substantial buttons, and this gorgeous chain detailing that is just giving such Chanel vibes. And this is something I would absolutely wear with a pair of jeans, just like I've styled it here in this video. But I also really, really love to mix it up with a skirt like this. So colorful, so spring, summer, open or closed, with pants, with skirts, with jeans, with shorts. This is so, so, so for me. Now for my classic girlies and my under the radar low key kind of girlies, I really wanted to show this blouse because this reminds me of something from The Row and that's exactly why I chose it. The Row is a very high fashion but understated fashion kind of brand. So you'll never see heavy branding in a piece from The Row. And it also is just really cool tailoring cuts and details. And that's how I feel about this shirt. This is so wearable for me. It's a knit, it's stretchy. It's a black mock neck long sleeve top. But what's special about it is the slits in the side. It's actually pretty lightweight, so it's good kind of through the seasons. It's very simple, but it's different. It's cool. The slits just make it. You can wear this with so many different things. Skirts, jeans, pants, shorts, you name it. Also, one of my favorite items out of this bunch, I know I've said that a few times, I really love every single thing because I chose all of these pieces, but there are a few standout pieces and I love this little purse. This is such a cute vibe. I think it looks so good with the pink jacket and blue skirt and this really ties that whole outfit together. This is so, so up my alley. You will definitely see me wearing this with a nighttime look, maybe even a daytime look, although daytime I really do love the big bags, but this is so cute. I might have to make it. Now you know I got you guys covered. If there are any pieces you have your eye on from this lookbook that I just showed you, I will leave everything linked down below. Of course you have a discount code as well. Take advantage of these beautiful pieces at amazing prices with an additional discount code. And thank you so much Urban Revival for sponsoring today's video. I love these pieces so much. Let's not waste any more time you guys. We are jumping right into number one. The first trend I wanna talk about is a denim trend. Now, I am not going to mention what everybody else is mentioning. I've seen videos about 
spring trends already on TikTok, even on YouTube. A lot of people are telling you trends that I've already been telling you for two years, trends that are obvious, you already know about them. So this denim trend is not revolutionary, but it is something that we are seeing more. And I'm talking about the 90s boot cut, not just any boot cut, but specifically the 90s boot cut. Much like the denim I showed you in the Urban Revival portion of this video, that is what I'm talking about. Those specifically are the A Goldie 90s boot, that's the name of the denim, and they are such a classic 90s cut. They really are giving that very authentic boot cut from the 90s. We've talked about baggy jeans relaxed, that's old news. I mean, yes, that's very much on trend. We don't need to cover that, we've covered it so many times. And I'm sure you're also very well versed with the straight cut denim, that's also very trendy. The boot cut is kind of similar to the straight cut, but it has a bit of a flare without being too flared. You know, there's the bell bottoms and the flares, there's the straight cut, and there's the boot cut, which I feel like does not get a lot of airtime. It's not that new, but it is kind of new because I feel like this is also a great transitional denim from the skinny jean. You know, there's still people that are very attached to their skinny jeans. They don't know how to jump into the new trends. Boot cut, straight legs are great transitional denim, but boot cut is just in general very, very trendy. It's a good way to be casual without you know, feeling sloppy or unkept, you know, because a lot of people have issues with the baggy denim. They feel like it's not put together as much. I love the boot cuts because they really are taking us back to that 90s era, really giving me my 90s childhood memories with Beverly Hills 90210, like that was the vibe. Bodysuit, boot cut denim, and like a Western style boot, like so the vibe. I really, really love this denim trend. So I feel like this is a trend for everyone. Number two, which which is a trend I have not seen a single person cover. Nobody that is talking about spring trends is talking about this, and that is inconspicuous fashion. Now, I think out of everything on this list, this is the most important point to discuss. Inconspicuous fashion is what we're going to be seeing going forward, spring 2023, and beyond, well beyond. The reason for this is because the world is in a really weird state financially. Globally, we're seeing financial hardships across the board, and that is where the inconspicuous fashion comes in, where we're doing less branding, less of that big in-your-face Gucci monogram era. And Gucci was really on the ball with this. That is probably why they decided to, I guess, kind of cut ties with Alexander Michele and go in a different direction, trying to bring Gucci back to that Tom Ford era. Now, the Tom Ford era at Gucci was not so inconspicuous. It was definitely about glamour, about fashion, about the cuts of the garments. However, one thing that was similar during that era was that there was not a main focus on branding and logo. And I think that Gucci is trying to come back to that. And that is very much what we're going to be seeing. People are gonna wanna be less in your face with their logos and their fashion and focus more on individuality and their personal style. Which leads me to number three, my next point, which is the old money fashion aesthetic, which we talked about a couple videos back. And the thing about the old money aesthetic is that even though the world is going through financial struggle, there's always going to be wealth, and that wealth is always going to be spending money and spending money on fashion. And a lot of the people that are in fashion or love fashion still want to spend money on fashion but more in the sense of if you know, you know kind of fashion. And that's the kind of trends that we're going to be seeing within the like higher fashion kind of world. We talked about Brunello Cuccinelli, we talked about Laura Piana, and there's other brands like Totem and The Row, which is kind of for the younger crowd. And those are very inconspicuous, but very cool amongst the young fashion crowd, cool coveted pieces that don't have any logo, rely solely on the fashion, the pieces, the garments, the quality the tailoring, etc. you get it. And that is kind of the direction that we're going in when it comes to trends. Kind of all about that, if you know, you know. Number three, let's talk about socks and sandals. Now, this is something I have covered a couple times on this channel, but it's something that I also am seeing a lot more on the runway and with street style. Even Chanel came out with a shoe that looks like the sock is attached, the fishnet sock with the Mary Jane shoe. It's not quite a sandal, but it's in that same family, right? Like 
very preppy look. I personally love a stocking, opaque tights with an open toe sandal. It makes it very easy to wear all my sandals throughout the season. So I've been doing this for a couple seasons already, but it is gaining more and more popularity. I love the socks and sandals trend, whether it's a knee high sock or full on tights with a sandal. So cute, so chic. I also love the ankle sock vibe with the sandal. And this is kind of a trend that might be out of some people's comfort zone. A lot of people feel like you cannot wear an open toe sandal with a footed tight. I personally think you can. I think it's all about the confidence. If you think that you can, you absolutely can. And that goes with every trend ever that I've ever mentioned or anything that you like that might not even be on trend. You know, something that you love, that you feel confident in, you are going to rock it. You are going to look like a million bucks if you feel confident wearing it. Number five, let's talk about loose pleated cuddled slacks and trousers. I absolutely love, love, love this trend. Kind of goes with that inconspicuous fashion kind of vibe. Like we're just talking very cool, loose pleated neutral pants, no branding, no nothing, just like that effortless kind of model off duty vibe. Again, what we talked about within the urban revival portion with that oversized blazer, like this just goes with that whole vibe. I love this. So different from the baggy jeans, this is like a baggy slack that still remains super casual like it's a very very casual look it's different from a denim I love the pleated trend happening so much of the 90s is just back in fashion and it has been for a while but it's not really going anywhere we just keep seeing so many 90s trends trickle back into current day fashion this is something that I will absolutely rock I'm always trying to look also like a model off duty you know what I mean that's why I love 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 this trend works so great for the tall girlies but also if you're short you a rocket with like a platform heel so it just looks like you're very tall such a cool vibe love 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 this trend number six I want to touch very quickly on cargo shorts we've talked about cargo pants at least a few times already cargo shorts in the like Bermuda shorts kind of vibe we saw Bottega two seasons ago do a Bermuda leather short for like five to seven thousand dollars yeah and that whole vibe is very much still happening we're seeing like big cargo shorts on the runway and in streets stuff. This is like something I could never wear and would never wear. I would literally look three feet tall in this. But for the tall girlies, this is a vibe. I really, really like this. I love, love, love the cargo pants trend. I've been rocking it so solidly. Sadly, I just don't think I can pull off the cargo Bermuda shorts, but such a hot trend. And it's just like a variation of the fall winter cargo pants into spring summer. Something you're definitely going to be seeing going forward. Number seven, also something that we've talked about and and we're gonna keep it quick, big oversized bags. Now, I told you literally in 2020 and 2021, big bags are coming back, so stay tuned for that. They're here, they are here. They're not coming back, they are back. But it still does take a minute to really get popular amongst the mainstream, but it is happening. We saw it almost in every collection on the runway. Ferragamo really showing humongous bags on the runway. And by the way, Ferragamo is the next big it designer for sure. And that runway collection was chef's kiss just beautiful i might have to break my shopping ban when i see those pieces come out because when i watched that runway collection i was like oh my gosh i want that and i want that and i want that so good but the big bags you guys know i've been stuck in olsen twin era since olsen twin era and i'm still in it big bags for life love this trend and i love that we're seeing it so much more lately number eight let's talk about flower chokers flower appliques on skirts on tops and i feel like magda butram was really leading the way with this because this has been a very magda aesthetic for the last couple seasons and i don't know if she just got on the trend early or if people are kind of following suit, but Magda Boutram was kind of the first that I saw doing these big flowers. Now we're seeing it a lot more often, flower chokers, flower appliques on all kinds of pieces like skirts. I saw that a lot during fashion week. I think I saw like four people wearing the same denim flower applique skirt. So very cool, but you know, 
maybe switch up your outfits a bit between the influencers, you know? But I do really like this trend a lot. I think it will be very seasonal. I don't think this has staying power. I really don't think we're gonna be seeing these flower chokers beyond this season, maybe into fall, but I really think it will die down. This is more kind of like a trendy fad kind of vibe, very in the now. Not something, in my opinion, that has a lot of staying power or that is a long lasting trend, but I really do like it. All right, you guys, that concludes the hottest trends for spring 2023. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what your favorite trends are that I mentioned, your least favorite trends. You know I love hearing from you guys. I'll be back very soon with another video and I cannot wait to see you. So until next time, bye for now.